Well. And, and besides that, I, I didn't know how to turn the refrigerator off. <laughs> There's no on-off button on the son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, you unplug it. Right, well, that's why I turned the inverter off and there got power. Yeah, the light went out, so I guess it's open. All right, well, we'll take care of it and uh, get you moved back in as soon as we can. I got my phone number. Got yeah. your phone number. I'll call if anything goes wrong. All right, well, can't shake your hands. Huh? We're still not supposed to shake hands. <laughs> Losing his motorhome, first time in 15 years. Get this thing pulled in and we'll go over it real fast. All right guys, I'm at the shop. We got our uh, journey pulled in. And this is a weird one. A viewer from El Centro contacted me about resealing his roof radiuses and he had a few list of other issues he wanted me to take a look at. He brought it here a couple weeks ago and we took a look at the roof radius. Yeah, it needed to be sealed. And he wanted a, well, a roof AC installed, the third AC, because he has a basement AC, but he he's in the desert, he lives in it full time and he wanted a, another AC on it. So we moved the vent from the kitchen, installed a roof AC, I don't know if you can see it up there. And then while we were up there, we said, Hey, your roof is uh, not in good shape. It's probably not worth resealing. Uh, and it's delaminating pretty bad. And then we found out where the TV antenna, or the roof, roof AC was going, the TV antenna was right behind it. So we had to move the, roof, uh, the TV antenna. We talked enough. Let's go take a look at this thing and give you a good overview of what's going on. All right, so this will not be a complete how to step by step of this uh, roof replacement. This is a 2009 journey. I don't know if you guys can follow this uh, dirt trail right there. And another one right there. That entire section is bubbled and lam delaminated. <laughs> it's always hard to see this white on white, but. So that's all delaminated. You can kind of see the delamination up front there and even on the side right there so it's not aged out uh, it's just aged out the adhesive's failed and uh here to step on this too much i think it would actually crack because it it puckers so bad so that's what we're gonna be doing seems ironic that we just put a new ac on we have to, the first thing we do is rip off the ac we just put on and then i don't know if you can see he wants us to add a condensate drain, because obviously this didn't come with one originally. So that's another uh, little thing we'll have to do. We'll see about showing you how that worked, but let's see. So this vent right here used to be right where that AC is. And that weird looking plate right there, that's where the TV antenna was. You can still see the, uh, the silhouette of it. So now we have to reposition or put the antenna somewhere else. And uh, I guess first things first, just rip this whole thing apart. All right, so here we are inside. That just has a uh, that plenum right there. So that's the air box. This is actually a nice one. It's the new one on the market. It's got the built-in thermostat, but it's Bluetooth connectivity to his phone. So being at the dash, he can just start the generator now, use his phone, and actually control his AC. So he's really like that feature. Uh, so obviously that has to come down. You kind of see where the TV antenna used to be. So now we just recommend putting a smoke alarm, CO2 detector, something. Hide that hole. And then take that vent out. Other than that, most everything's going to be on the exterior of this one. It's not too much to take apart on the inside. Obviously, the, the rear front cap I have to take apart. But that's the front cap. We'll worry about that when we get to there. So hopefully, we can check in. We'll have stuff to take apart. Chad's taking the gaskets off right now. All right, so that was really easy, straightforward. Uh, of course, we can get the front cap screws really easily. They gave us good access on that. But th this is a diesel, and so they build these front caps a little bit differently. On a Winnebago, you'll notice that uh, on the ceiling, there's a piece of wood molding right in the middle. 
and that's about where the uh, super steel structure ends. So we have to pull that molding down to get access to those screws to get the front cap off. So that's the only real difference. Normally this is what's inside the cabinet, but now this is inside the ceiling. All right, carry on. Of course, now we're on the side of the root front cap and you'll see Winnebago actually puts these uh, screws on now. So before they didn't used to put these on the outside, you'll notice when I do a roof cap, I always put screws in right about there and there to keep this edge from uh, coming loose. So Winnebago and I came up with the same, same thing. Actually, I saw Winnebago do that. That's why I said I knew I could do it. Chad, you left an awning in the way. Ah. So we're gonna take this awning rail off. We aren't gonna take the awning off currently. Shouldn't be in the way. It's just for professionals. We know how to use zip ties. This is the last big thing. We take everything off the roof. You see that one big guy up there. Another one there. Another one. Another one. Another That's one all. bites the dust. You're biting what? The dust. Oh, okay. Just a few more to go. Why aren't you done yet? Working as fast as this drill works. <laughs> Look at that. We're disconnected. Wood awning. Glue protected. Nice. Huh? You know, I have a knife. That ain't a knife. Right, let's get this AC out of the way now. There's our AC. You can see if we ran the Romex through the wall or through the ceiling. Let me just use the uh, AC duct. Don't tell anybody. But now I take this off. That was just a temporary uh, patch from when the uh, TV antenna was right there. Once we figured this part out, we figured we are going to be doing the whole roof. So this is just was supposed to keep them going until the parts came in. Man, whoever put this down did a good job. Well, it was un under the AC. You didn't want it to leak, did you? All right, that wasn't too difficult. That's where the antenna used to be. Let's see, pop that down. It's back inside now. Hello. This TV antenna, when we pull this off, we're going to relocate it somewhere over here, I think, with a omnidirectional guy. Nothing you have to turn. Something that'll work. Seems easier to me. I gotta have... My guy's gotta stay alive. It's hot. <laughs> if there's any good news, he needed to repaint it anyways. I don't know why Winnebago's do this. Is it the quality of their clear coat? Or is it their prep work? Or is it just that it's too thin? Too hot. Ah, too hot. Didn't figure on that. <laughs> right there is on. Thank you, Micah. You know, maybe I'll talk to you guys about that job. That's a really beautiful motorhome. It used to used to be. One day we'll talk about it. Makes a roof look really uh, insignificant. You looking under that skirt without asking? We're making pretty good progress. A little bit more. Just get that front cap off, and we'll be uh, ready to rip this thing off. Doesn't have foam. Looks like it's radius. Like it doesn't need it. Yeah, it doesn't have the track for it. Yeah. Nice. Hey, it's something we can't lose. Really? Yeah. Never seen that. So this is a adhesive failure, huh? Looks like it ain't sticking very good. You know what everybody would say? Just glue it back on this. We just glue uh, it back down. Just uh, don't worry about you that. And I'm 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 very apt to agree with them, except that you know it doesn't ever work. Seems like a bad idea. What do you think, Micah? I don't like it. I don't either. Thanks for listening to all. Well, to my eye, it looks like maybe this thing was leaking. <laughs> so we're fixing the problem, anyways. Looks like the front cap was probably leaking too. 
looks like it's probably leaking on this side too. Look at that dirt. Dirt! Alright, so we just gotta get this front cap pulled off and then uh, we'll be ready to rip the roof off. You guys are just over there uh, cleaning up. I'm not landing yet. Don't, don't wave me off. Alright, nothing like a plan coming together, right? Get that front cap loose. Pulled up. Micah did it. It's good. All right. It's a this adhesive did let go. As so you can see where it was getting dirty before. But they did a good job installing this one this time. I'm sorry. What were you saying? James, I'm finally in one of your videos. At least I hope. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, James. Thanks. Now we can pull this uh, fiberglass off. And start repairing this roof. Well, now you did it. Well, the good news is there's no water damage. Isn't that good news? kick while you're at it. All right, so here's the pylon coming off pretty nicely. Try to keep it in a good size piece. Don't fall off. All right, so we've come to the conclusion that it wasn't sticking everywhere. So where, where the wood's ripped up, that's where it was sticking. <laughs> where it's not ripped up, that's where it wasn't sticking. It doesn't bode well, right? But if there's any good news, it looks like the satellite was leaking anyway, so that's something we wouldn't have known about until we took this off. Not too bad, but it was leaking. Yeah, the satellite port. Oh, I guess that was leaking too. Yeah, there is water damage there. It's because they only put four screws in it. Well, four screws, and I'm sure they put Dicor on top of the, the new flex that was there before. First, and then some new flex it afterwards. <laughs> All right, well, there's stage one. Nice. All right, so we're going to get ready to pull this uh, paneling off. Now, the owner, he said he couldn't find a video of me pulling this uh, plywood off, and he's curious how it happened, so... Really, it's just like taking off a big sticker. All you do is just keep pulling it off. And it's going to separate from the foam pretty easily. But that's nearly there because this is a little bit different build than uh, Winnebago normally has. They use double-sided tape right there to hold the uh, plywood down on the edge. At the factory, they missed the double-sided uh, tape where it's supposed to go. It's supposed to be on that right there. So this wasn't held down. Uh... I got underneath right about there. So. <laughs> if you follow back over here, you can see the double side tape went back underneath again. That's a little bit different, but a little bit more concerning is, I don't know if you can see the discoloration of this aluminum. That's where the awning rail was. So it looks like there's a good chance. You can see all that discoloration that way. This was also probably leaking. So when we put this back together, we're gonna have to make sure that we seal it up really well. In fact, you can see the, uh, the water and the dirt coming through. Nothing ever simple. All right, so the first thing I gotta do, if you guys remember, TV antenna's right there. So this panel I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna put the TV antenna right about here, because that seems about right to me. So I don't wanna forget to do that, so the first thing I'm gonna do is pull up this panel. All right, so there's the coax right there to the antenna. All you have to do is pull it out of the wall, <laughs> the ceiling, and we'll put it right about there. And put our mark right there, where we're going to pull it, that way Done. we'll know where it's at in the future. Right? There, what do you think? Sounds great. Perfect. <laughs> Didn't find wires. That's good. There we go. Now 
now we got that out of the way. All this wiring decided to uh, stick to it, so we'll just have to hook that back in. And there's our coax. So now I just have to route out a channel real fast. Pretty good. Bueno. There we go. We re relocated an antenna. There you go. A lot of extra wire now. Look factory. 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 Except for, let's tape all this back up again. All right, and with that, we got a new pocket. Wires are really thick right here. You just have to put the new panel on. It'll be the first one, uh, and then eight to go. Glue, 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 and then bam, it'll be done. Alright, so here we are. This is where we got the uh, Romax ran to the AC before, before we were tearing an AC uh, roof apart. That's just coming up the uh, monitor panel. There's our channel. And uh, we went, I think, almost perfect. Uh, the factory would have done it. Good job, Chad. Not bad for blind. <laughs> now, what might be hard to understand is that the factory, I think, they did this to us intentionally. They put the seam. Oh, there's plywood right at all these router marks. So there's no support underneath it. I think that's why this roof really let go. You can see it back here too. So there's the routed track and the <laughs> channel ends right about there. So there's nothing holding that except for the phylon on top. Then once that lets go, it starts to flex and stretch. So we get to fix that factory problem three times over. Good job, factory. So hopefully it makes more sense now. So now, now the plywood will bridge the gap, not the seam right on the gap. That's the dumbest thing in the world. Good job, Winnebago. Thanks for making life difficult. Right yeah, you can see where the seam was right there. So neither one of those. That's just stupid. So stupid. It's just stupid. All right, so now you can see where we're gluing it, and it's gonna bridge the gap. Right, Chad? So thumbs up from Chad must be good. All right, it's nothing like doing the job three times. So we're gonna go ahead and cut our new panels and put this seam right in the middle, so it's not <laughs> straddling the, the the router on that foam. So that's what we're going to cut out is right there. Literally, that's where it stops. It's dumb. Well, I wonder why that side's coming up okay. It's almost like it wasn't stuck to anything. Hey, you only got a little bit too. Yeah, but it's... I think it's technique. Technique? Technique! Ah, you son of a... This is why we get to redo it. The good news is our red glue is sticking really well. So I think that was a horrible place to put a seam right in between that, that galley right there. In fact, some might say it's a stupid place to put it. What do you think, Chad? No way, no. So now we'll just glue that one on and now it shouldn't bridge any, uh, now it'll bridge the gap we needed to bridge. Mine. I'm pretty sure that was what the problem was. Twice over. Winnebago, whoever built this, you guys got problems. All right, so now we have the Band-Aid over there. That should be a little bit better substrate for the uh, Phylon. Because Phylon needs a, a backer or else it, it will deform. And I think that's probably what happened. Now, where the panels meet, it's not flexing. Allowing that uh, phylon to stretch. You know, Chad brings up a good point. This is a 2009 built in 2008. So it's a good chance either there was an inexperienced crew that just got hired or fired during the uh, Great Recession. 
Right? Maybe cheaper. <laughs> cheaper ain't better. Well, that's the last piece of the Lou on decking. And uh, I think we solved a lot of the problems from the factory. Ran out of time today to put the fiberglass down, but we'll get everything laid out and clean out the uh, gutters. Hopefully get a little bit made up time, get this thing in, wrapped up tomorrow. Right? All right, so here we go. The new deck is all on. Seams are all better now. I'm gonna do this dance all over again. Get the new material up on the roof. And if you can see the, uh, I've marked the center there. And the center, somewhere there, focus. And a couple more centers right there. Around the chalk line right here, find the center of the material there. And get this glued down. And one last thing to do. All right, we got it all laid out again. All right on that straight line, clean it off one more time. We'll be here gluing it down now. Still lined up there. That looks pretty good. And we're all but done. Look at that brand new roof. Almost like we know what we're doing. Better than factory. <laughs> this one is. Well, I mean, this right? I say much. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Found Chad laying down on the job. Roof's on. And uh, there will be no uh, updates until this roof's done now because there's nothing exciting at this point. It's all the same thing. Uh, and I'm tired. <clears throat> All right, I know I promised no updates, but this radius is tucked and ready to go. And I think we found a new cutter for it. And I think it worked out pretty well. We got a little Milwaukee uh, tile cutter right here with a tile cutting blade on it. And uh, it cuts up some dust, but it cuts really well. The nice thing about it is it doesn't stress out the phylon, so it doesn't uh, risk uh, ripping it like it would with the normal shears. So this is working pretty well. Nice. All right, front cast back on, everything's oozing out. Now Winnebago special black body plugs Plastic ones, they didn't make it through this process. They broke as we took them apart. Uh, here's another one. We're using temporary screws and washers, which is what was here before anyway. So on this one right there. So that's oozing out, looking good. Oh. Might be getting hotter every summer. Now, of course, this is a full, band, full body paint job, so this radius is going to have to be painted from about here up to about there. So that means I can't seal this until it's painted. Otherwise, my body guys will get really upset with me because I try to tape on to see wet sealant. That goes for the sealant across the top because the front cap needs to be painted. So about all I can do is put the vents and everything down, seal them, and then we'll do the lap seal, sealant afterwards. So. That's going to be the next thing we're doing, but we're looking good. All right, well, that's pretty much the end of the roof replacement. Now we're just going to be down to uh, painting it. We've just uh, temporarily installed the awning rail so that we can find those holes in the future. And if uh, wind comes along, it doesn't rip this awning off. <sighs> All right, guys, I'm exhausted. So it's hard to see, but that clears uh, peeling. So he's gonna have us paint the uh, the front cap and the rear cap in a few areas. But at the same time, we have to do the uh, radius so that it matches. So my body guys are gonna take care of all the paint work because they're good at that and a lot better than me. So that ends another day of this roof. And uh, we, uh, I won't be back on it until we're about ready to uh, 
put all the lap seal on top and seal the radius and give it over to the customer. We're taking care of it, James. Don't worry. It's in good hands. Yeah, I didn't expect them to be done with it yesterday. Huh? I didn't expect them to be done with it yesterday. Well, here it is. I mean, looks better than factory to my opinion. In fact, I know it is better than factory. Yeah, the satellite itself was leaking a little bit in a couple places. It looked like it had been sealed a couple times too. Well, that's a replacement satellite too. Okay, that all makes sense. You staying cool inside? Yes. Well, that's great news. But well, I guess uh, you have a brand new roof. And uh, we should have done a, a better job sealing up the awning for you this time because it looks like it was leaking a little bit too. The awning rail. Oh, okay. So we put a, 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 a cap seal on it. Help direct water away. But yeah, this looks really good. Whoever did this did a good job. Well, all right, I hope you don't mind being on film or camera. All right. You got a beautiful uh, 2009 Journey. Looks almost brand new. I honestly I thought this was like a, a 13. Other people told me that too. It's got 95,000 miles. 95,000 miles. It's not for sale. It's never going to be for sale, right? Nope, nope. You're driving. One of us is going to the bridge. <laughs> One, okay. Well, I appreciate your confidence in uh, getting yeah, a roof no, done. Oh, no, yeah, no question about it. Uh, so, uh, by watching a YouTube video. <laughs> well, like I said, watching the videos is what got me to, to try to, to track you down and find you. Well, I appreciate that. So, I'm, really, I'm happy with it. Um, no, it turned out really well. The only question we really had was was all the paper towel for insulation, or, or, or was this because you were going to start the, a resale market on uh, on paper towel? <laughs> yeah, once, once everybody starts get, getting desperate for toilet paper, I can sell the paper towel. Paper towel. No, that's, so much... that's exactly what uh, Chad and I were talking about. Okay. I said, yeah, that's because the position I was in in El Centro at one of my RV sites, at one of my spots that I was in, it, it was it's just baking just, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I put that bubble wrap in there, mm -hmm. and that didn't help at all. And I, one day I thought, I'll just buy paper towels and stuff them up in there. And that, and that has worked. It honestly sounds like a pretty good idea. Yeah. And all right. Got some on the side, too. So. Pants up. Right. <laughs> oh boy, am I glad you're here. Uh oh. What happened? <laughs> I got something else wrong now. Really? Yes. Woo! James, I'm finally one of your videos. I'm just at home. <laughs> 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 <laughs>